Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Cindy from DIY Beautify. I blog about home decor and DIY and just thrifty ways to make your home more beautiful. So if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click that button. Today I'm excited to share with you just a really sweet project for summer. It's more of a craft than a DIY and it can be patriotic, but it can also just go through all your summer um, decor. It's a cute little denim garland with these patriotic pinwheels. And I'm gonna show you how to make these today as well as how to put the whole garland um, together and hang it up. So let's get started. Okay, let's go through the supplies that you're going to need for this project. You're going to need some paper and I used scrapbook paper from my stash. I have a huge stash from when I used to scrapbook every day. Uh, you want double-sided. So you can see that these little pieces that I have, they're patterned on both sides and they're thicker than normal um, printer paper. They're more like a cardstock. So that's what you want and like I'm going more country patriotic than true red, white, and blue stars and stripes. You do what you want, it'll look cute no matter what. So paper, then you're gonna need a way to cut the paper. And I swear by my, this is probably 15 or 20 years old, just a paper trimmer. It'll make sure that you get completely straight edges and perfectly square cuts. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, a hole punch. This is a little tiny, I will see if I can find this and link to it. It's, um, it's like more than a pin size, but definitely much, much smaller than your traditional hole punch that you would use for binders. Okay, then you're going to need a selection of brads and again these can be found at the scrapbook store any craft store probably amazon you want the ones <clears throat> that have the prongs at the back now you can just use the the office brads that are just gold and silver or you can look for some more decorative ones like these i found the gingham and the polka dot all right then you're going to need either some bamboo skewers or you could also use the patriotic paper straws that you can find at the dollar store and a glue gun. Okay, so some just pretty basic scrapbooks or craft supplies and we'll get started. So I have already pre-cut my squares using my paper trimmer, but um, and, and these are cut into three and a half inch squares. I tried doing smaller squares and I did two and a half inch and this was the size of the pinwheel, but I will say that I had a very hard time getting all these parts together. So I added an inch and I'm gonna show you how to do it with a three and a half inch square. If you wanna go bigger, you go bigger. Just experiment with different sizes to see what works best. So the first thing you wanna do is fold your paper square in half and press that fold nice and stiffly with your fingernail. Okay, now we're gonna fold it the opposite way. Again, press that fold nice and stiff. Now this part is a little bit tricky. You can see that your fold lines are visible. It's a little hard to see on my screen, but they are there. We're gonna take our scissors and you wanna cut along the fold lines about two thirds of the way to the center. So a little bit more than halfway. All right, so just go ahead and do that on all sides. And you can see that each of these pieces is now loosened from the center. So the tricky part is trying to get, you, you wanna make a hole in the very, very center. This is what's gonna anchor all of your um, 
parts for your pinwheel. It's a little tricky to get your paper cutter through there, but you may have to slightly bend the paper. Just do the, do the best you can and punch a hole in the center. Okay, so now we have that done. We need to make this stiff paper a little bit more pliable so that it's easier to get the brad to work. So I'm gonna just use my finger and sort of round the edges. Now you want to do the same side. For instance, this is the far end. So I wouldn't curl this end, I would curl this end. Just a little bit forward. And it's really easy just to do with your fingers. Okay, so keep doing that with all four sides. Just We're just helping this paper to bend a little bit. Okay, so that's easier to see. All four sides have been bent in a little bit. Now what we need to do is we need to make holes on each of these corners. So the end that I curled I'm going to put a small hole right here. Then I'm going to do the same side here and just work my way around and do a hole in each side. Okay, and you want to try to get it as close to the edge as possible, but you also need to give it a little leeway so that the paper doesn't rip when we put that brad in there. So just punch all four sides. All right, got a hole in each corner, a hole in the center, and we're ready to just attach it all together. Now with your double-sided paper, I should have mentioned before you started folding, to have the part that you want visible to be the part that you, I mean, both sides are gonna show as you see on this one, but this is the part that I guess gets a little more attention. And then I'm going to match, I'm gonna pick a brad that kind of coordinates with the red and white check. I'm gonna grab this little blue brad. Okay, so the way that you attach it all together, and this, this takes a little bit of practice and you may get frustrated and just wanna to revert to glue and that is fine. But starting on one of these corners, you're gonna put your brad prongs through the hole from the back to the front. Okay, so the brad is on the side that is curling. Then you're gonna grab the next piece of paper with the hole and stick the brad through there as well. And then work your way around to the next one. And then the last one. Now the trick is we wanna get, now that all four pieces are secured onto the brad, we need to get it to poke into that hole at the bottom. So just it's tricky. I don't really know what the uh, solution is to make it easier, but I can see the hole and I'm just gently working my way. You can kind of feel it from the back. There, I got it. Okay, so then you poke it through the back. And you want to open up those prongs to secure it. Okay. All right, so it's secured at the back. And if we flip it around, hey, we just made a pinwheel. And you can kind of flatten out those rounded edges just slightly so that it feels a little bit um, more, I don't know, centered. All right, so the next step will be just a hot glue. I took a 
regular sized bamboo skewer and I used my kitchen shears and just cut it into about three and a half inch pieces. So I got three out of each bamboo skewer. And then you're just gonna go ahead and hot glue this to the back. Now obviously this pinwheel will not actually uh, turn because it's glued, but that's okay. This is just really for looks. Okay, so let's make one more, okay? Because this is, this is the trickiest bit, is getting this little pinwheel. I think I've made them larger and they're much easier to, to work with when they're bigger. So you may wanna go that route just until you get the hang of it before you make these tiny little ones. Maybe try doing an eight inch square and see how you do with that. All right, so I've folded my paper both directions and now I'm gonna cut two thirds of the way up with my scissors. All right, the next step is to use my hole punch and try to get it right in the center which you can see your fold lines, so it's really not that hard. All right, now I have to determine what I want my pinwheel to look like with this double-sided paper. Do I want the green apples to come forward? No, I think I want it the other way. So I'm gonna start to fold the blue flowers toward the center. Whoops, and I just ripped this one a little bit, but that should be okay. You just sort of bend and manipulate that paper a little bit with your fingers to get it going the direction you want. Just help it. And then we're going to do our hole punches on each corner. Try to keep them at the same distance on each one as much as possible. It's not a super big deal. All right. Then I'm going to grab, uh, let me see. I think that would be cute, the red polka dots. Now, one thing I should mention with your brads, you want to make sure that the little prongs at the back, they're not opening at all. You want them super tight because you have to try to fit them into those little tiny holes. Okay, so if this one's giving me problems, I'll switch to another one. In fact, you know what? I like this blue jewel, and it looks like it has a pretty good prong that's nice and tight. So let's try this one. All right, so back here, you just pick one of your um, sides to start with, and you put the, the brad from the back. So the decorative side that you want to have at the front, right? That's going to be my front. I put it from that forward and then I fold it over to the next one and put it through that hole. And then I fold it over to the next one. And usually by the time I get about three, then I like to kind of help it create the shape so that when I get that fourth one on, it's easier to find the hole in the middle. Okay, ah, it's a hard angle to try to show you when I'm holding all these pieces. Okay, so last one, bend, stick it through. So now I have all four, and now I'm gonna go and find the center. There it is. Poke the brad through and open up the little prongs at the back, flip it around, and you can just slightly flatten these where they might be a little too round for your pinwheel. All right, that one turned out so cute, didn't it? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hot glue one of my little cut bamboo skewers to the bottom. Like I said, you could also use a straw that you cut down, a paper straw, that would be cute too. 
if you don't have skewers. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to put the garland together. So to create this darling little denim garland, I took some of my daughter's outgrown clothes, her little jeans and shorts, and I cut the pockets off of the back. And I cut it so that it still is a pocket. I didn't just cut this piece off, the decorative piece, because I like the, some of these have brads, this one doesn't. I like the brads in the corner and I wanted to keep those intact. So I just cut a bunch of jean pockets, you know, if you're, Kids are grown and you don't have these at home. A great tip is to go to Goodwill and shop when it's 50% off and just look for some little jeans that you can do this with. So you cut those off and then it couldn't be easier. I just cut a length of jute cord and tied a little knot in the end to, I'm gonna attach it to just a little 3M hook that's on my dresser and from the dollar store, I picked up some of these mini little clothespins, and so I'm just attaching each pocket with a clothespin onto that jute cord so that it hangs. And I'll show you at the end um, how cute it looks hanging up. But then these little pinwheels that we made are so easy just to tuck into the pocket. It makes such a cute, whoops, that one doesn't have a thing on it yet, a skewer. It makes such a cute little garland for summer. Can't you just see that hanging up in your house? So sweet, right? I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial for denim garland with paper pinwheels and that you will visit my blog. I've linked all the supplies over there that I've used and make sure to check out my blog. I have hundreds of ideas for decorating your home on a budget. Thank you.